Hello, lovely wax friends. How is everybody tonight? I'm kind of back in my old filming spot at my computer because I plopped down on the floor a few minutes ago and my phone was almost dead. So I have to have it charging while I'm videoing. So uh, it is Sunday at 7.33 here in uh, central Illinois. We have had another exciting, oh, excuse me, <coughs> exciting weekend. On Thursday, we uh, took a I took a half day from work and we went to Ohio over by Columbus, Ohio. We were at Denison University, Denison College. I'm not real sure what it's called, but um, oh my gosh, beautiful town, beautiful campus. But we were in the first regional of the NCAA uh, Division Three, NCAA, yeah, Double A Division Three baseball tournament. Um, we then played on Friday. We had uh, rain delays and then played on Saturday and we lost both Friday and Saturday. So we decided we came home last night and then Ryan graduated from Millican University today. So we had all that. And now I am just home relaxing. And then I looked and I have so many wax hauls to share with you guys. So the one I'm gonna do right now is the biggest. My Swanky pre-order. Now, Swanky just excites me. That's all I can say. I mean, it's just, it's just stunning. It's, uh, there's just something about Swanky Wax. Um, Swanky is owned by Jeannie Jeffries. Do I have that right? Um, they are out of Washington State, Bremerton, Washington, actually. Um, she does, I think, three, does she, what she do, like three pre-orders a year, maybe four, and then there's usually an RTS after each pre-order. She'll randomly do some mystery bags and different things. She is just, she has body care as well as wax. And her wax is just, it's stunning. It's just, it's just so different than, than, you know, every vendor has their specialty. Every vendor has what they're known for, what they're good at. And I think what Swanky is just known for just being this, I, I, I think, I think her, her body care scents and her tobacco scents and, um, she has bubble bath. I've not not tried her bubble bath scent. Um, I'm hoping that makes it to the next pre-order. I'm definitely going to get some of those. Um, I know somebody requested a bubble bath sampler. I'm all over that if there is one. Her florals, her, she just, and she does bakery too, but I think she's just more known for those sophisticated, romantic type um, scents, and they're just Beautiful. Swanky is one of the few vendors that I will do samplers from also because her samplers are usually pretty big size pieces. In the past, she would do chunk samplers and you've got a really good size chunk. Lately, they've all been like two ounce shot cup type size. So let's go over. I got three samplers, so we've got a lot to go through. But um, first we'll do the bag because it's right here on top. I did one bag of shapes and her bags of shapes come in these uh, bakery bags. This one is an evening gown and the scent notes for this are usually, okay, so this is sensual amber. So right there, leaning a little body care, right? Uh, Palo Santo, lavender, let them eat cake, body care and vanilla lace body care so let's smell evening gown okay yes a little bit of lavender definitely get the let them eat cake and why right off the bat i'm not able to tell you what the notes are for let them eat cake it's not bakery let them eat cake is a body care and i can't remember swanky's also known for her beautiful wax i mean these are just some of the pieces 
in this shape bag. Definitely need to cut that one. I could get, I mean, I'll get four pieces out of that easily. This is beautiful. It really is. Once again, probably a bedroom, bathroom scent for me. Um, there's another piece. Oh, yeah. What, what am I getting? Okay. So, you definitely get the body care amber, the vanilla lace. It's just a beautiful body care scent. Mm. Evening gown. Very, very nice. Okay, I made a request. I don't do a lot of requests on uh, with vendors. I don't know why I don't. But right before she put out a request poll, I used my last souffle of her fireside. Okay, so I grabbed four of these. Okay. So <coughs> I have a tickle in my throat. I should have took care of that right before I got on here. By her side, it says Woodwick type. This scent is addictive. It's not just a smoky fire scent. It has some mysterious undertones that make it unique. I love to mix this with just about anything. Yeah, there is a sweet smokiness to this. Not, I don't know that it's like a sweet marshmallow, but... Yeah, it is just a smoky, charred, charred wood almost to me type scent. This, like I said, it, it goes well with anything. I love to mix this. And I've got four of these now, so I am psyched. And that's what her souffle cups look like. Just a little bit of glitter on the top. Okay, I did... A souffle in cornbread cream cake. Again, just some glitter on the top. Uh, cornbread cream cake is another decadent cream cake blend. Cream cake and cornbread is a dream together. Oh yeah, okay. So cornbread, but the cream cake, I'm really getting that just scrumptious, vanilla cream cake with a little bit of cornbread. Oh, this is really good. Wasn't sure. I don't, I'm not always the best judge of cornbread. I, I have trouble picking it up sometimes. And so I just went with the souffle, but I could see mixing this a lot. It is, it's really sweet and rich. Yeah, I like this. Okay. Forgot to say that Swanky does body care as well. She'll do, she does lotions and scrubs and um, like baths. Um, and she does bubble bath, right? Um, like a shower, body wash, um, perfumes. I know she does roller balls, perfumes. Then I picked up vanilla birch and rice flour and shea. Now I remember back in the day, using rice flour and shea from Bath and Body Works. Does anybody else remember that? It was kind of a, not bland, but kind of a, uh, I don't even know how to, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, guys. Um, just vanilla birch, rice flour, and shea. If I remember, the rice flour and shea was, it was kind of subtle, not really vanilla, but, okay. This, the rice flour and shea really subdues the vanilla birch and gives it a body care, body care nest to it. This would be beautiful. I would, I would wear this. Think vanilla birch with <sighs> hmm. Where are my words, everybody? Where are my words? I don't know. It's just a really rich vanilla birch. And here I am again. Remember, guys, when I sit up here at my computer, my lighting is shit. So I have to um, keep my computer monitors on to give me extra light. 
because I don't have any kind of lights behind me or ring light because, you know, I just wing it. So anyway, I, read my mind about how good this is and what it smells like because I can't come up with any words to tell you. <sighs> okay. Then I got a few loads. The first loaf I got is tobacco leaves and amber. Now look, can you see there are like some dried rose petals. Now her loaf pans are a little wider than um, what normal, not normal, what um, what more vendors use, what um, what is usually used, what, what's the, what the norm is. How about that? Yeah, Maggie. Um, so they're a little wider, but not quite as deep. So tobacco leaves and amber, uh, a sweet tobacco leaf, amber sandalwood, and a touch of vanilla. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, don't think gross, smoky, think tobacco cigarettes. This is a gorgeous body care sweet tobacco very sweet um yeah i definitely get the amber sandalwood yeah so this is i have a whole loaf of this but i, I don't know that i would melt this in my open concept i don't know maybe i would why not i guess my my mind goes straight to doing it in the bedroom beautiful kind of, this is kind of a sexy scent too it really is but why can't I? I mean, I have all this freaking wax. Why not melt it in the open concept, right? Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. She does tobacco really, really well. Wow. Really good. Really good. Okay. In the past, her loaves were really, I mean, decorated beautifully with embeds and just very victorian themed embeds beautiful beautiful the last couple orders that i've gotten they've been a little little plainer um which i don't care it, it doesn't matter to me i mean i appreciate it either way I, I i literally don't care i'm just making a statement the next one i have is poet's lair which is whispers in the library and sandalwood tobacco this one is kind of a Slate color with some glitter on it. Um, where am I at here? Poet's Lair, Whis Whispers in the Library, and Sandalwood Tobacco. No kidding, that's what I just read. I don't know what Whispers in the Library is. I don't know the scent notes to that one. I don't believe I've ever had that one on its own. I know Sandalwood, I know Tobacco. Oh, there's... Get like a bourbony. Maybe that is maybe that's the tobacco. I don't I don't know. But can you see? It's kind of a kind of brown, maybe slate. I don't know. All right, let's turn this puppy upside down. There you go. This is super pretty. I wish I knew what that was. Is there Palo Santo? In Whispers in the Library, maybe. Is there a little bit of leather, maybe, in Whispers in the Library? I dig this, guys. I really, really like this one. Really, really like this one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, I would, I would do this one out for everyone in the open concept, I think. We'll see. I like that. Okay. And the last loaf I got is Restoration Hardware. This is soft leather, tobacco vanille, and hotel costas. Now, I know soft leather. I know tobacco vanille. Uh, hotel costs, I don't know. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much all it says. Ooh, leather. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is super pretty.
pretty. I love leather scents. Y'all know that if you've watched me for any amount of time. Um, I definitely think this could be, whoo, I think I just, I think I just got some wax on the floor. I got in trouble with my family the other day. I, there was wax on the floor somewhere. I don't know how it got there, you know? It, it just freaking appears. But all I, I didn't hear the end of it. Hmm, okay. Love the leather, adore the leather. I love vanilla and leather. Um, get that, that sweet, sweet tobacco. Hotel costs, I don't know, there's a brightness to this. And I, I don't know what it is. I literally don't know what it is, but it's beautiful. It's wonderful. And I am making a hell of a mess. Okay. And I have glitter on my fingers. What you gonna do, right? Okay. Oh, I I really like this one. Really, really like this one. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. okay. Um, I'm gonna do my samples real quick. And then get into the samplers. Uh, the first one I have is Blueberry Pumpkin Pecan Waffle Noel. You know what I wish I would have requested? A pumpkin pecan waffle sampler on her her suggestion list. I love her pumpkin pecan waffle. Oh, hmm. Her pumpkin pecan waffle is to die for. It really, really is. A little bit of blueberry. But the pumpkin pecan waffle is the star. Oh, mm, heavenly. I need to look in my stash and see if I have any more of this. But I do love her pumpkin pecan waffle. Uh, Sauvage. Now this is a cologne dupe. I think I'm gonna give this to my mom. Yeah, it's, it's good. It, it's just not what I wanna smell. It's good. I'm gonna give that one to my mother. Uh, cotton candy frosting. This will be a good mixer. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Whoa. Yeah. Just a sweet cotton candy frosting. It's a big chunk. Cotton candy frosting. I've never found one that's really, really strong. I, I don't know that I've melted a ton of it either. Um, I'll mix it. Okay, we're down to the samplers. Move this. I'm trying to decide. You know, I put all this stuff in my spreadsheet and add it to my numbers. Okay, these spreadsheet or these samplers, they kill my numbers, right? I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'll just go ahead and add them. I mean, it is what it is, right? Okay, so the first sampler I got is her Angel Share sampler. Okay, and look how beautiful. So we've got some, so there's eight, two ounce, I think these are, these might be a little bigger than two ounce actually. I think these are a little bigger than two ounce scent shot cups. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, I bet these are closer to two and a half, do you think? I don't know. If anyone knows for sure, because I don't think it's all in here. If anyone knows for sure, let me know. But I would say these are close to two and a half. Yeah. Might be bigger. I don't know. I wonder if it's on the bottom here. Oh, 3.25 ounce. It is on the bottom. Okay. So the first one is Angel Share. Beach Nights and Marshmallow Clouds. So we've got Angel Share with Beach Nights and uh, like Boardwalk Marshmallow Cloud. I'm shocked. I'm getting mostly Angel Share and, and some Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. 
I'm getting hardly any beach nights, which is, isn't that strange? Because beach nights usually takes over everything. Very pretty. It's very pretty though. Very, very pretty. So happy with that. Angel Share in Twilight, which is a lush dupe. Oh. Oh yeah, the Twilight in this one really comes out. If you don't like lush Twilight, I don't think you'll like this. This one is very perfumey. Twilight's not my favorite lush. But, um, I mean, this is pretty. This is definitely a bedroom bathroom scent for me. Okay. Then we have Angel Share and Moonflower. I don't know what Moonflower is either. I know that's another popular one from her. This one's lighter. So I would think Moonflower is, is a lighter. Um, yeah, this one's very light. Yeah, this is just a really pretty, um, girly, perfumey, but but well well done. Not not grandma perfumey. Light. It's kind of light. I like that one. That one's pretty. It's just a very pretty pretty scent. All right, uh, Angel Share and Earl Grey Tea. Hmm, kind of an interesting combo, isn't it? Ooh, I got that tea, that Earl Grey tea. All right, let's see. I can get this one, pop this one out. Okay. It's funny, the tea really amps up the angel share. I like this one. I wouldn't have picked this one. I, I like what the tea does to this. Yeah, that one is, that one's nice. That one's really nice. Okay. Then we've got Angelic Cedar, which is Angel Share and Cashmere Cedar. Ooh, I'm excited about this one. Oh, okay. I think I got that cedar. Yeah, I like this one. You definitely get that cashmere. Cashmere cedar is the star of this blend. The angel share is just kind of there. Yeah, this is this is nice. I like this one too. That one's that one's super pretty too. Okay, what else do we have? Angel share and whispers in the library. And again, I don't know what whispers in the library is. Hmm. This one isn't as strong as some of the others. This is, it's, it's pretty. I don't know what the hell I'm smelling. I really don't. I mean, I, this is just a really pretty perfumey. I mean, nothing is just jumping out at me and saying, hey, here I am. It, it's freaking pretty. I don't know. I'm not even going to. I'm not gonna try. I'm spent. Okay, what else here? Uh, Angel Share and White Tea Hotel. Okay, White Tea is not my favorite. I used to wear a Bath and Body fragrance, White Tea and Ginger. Maybe was that what it was? White Tea and Ginger. This is definitely White Tea. It's not. Yeah, you know what? This isn't bad. The white tea is not as overpowering as it sometimes comes out. This one kind of reminds me of, uh, it could be a, of like a hotel lobby. That white tea, it does say white tea hotel. I don't know that that means anything, but it is reminiscent of something that I've smelled before. And the last one is Angel Share and Butterball Lush. Now, I don't know if I know what Butterball is. I don't, I mean, I've had a lot of Lush. I know, you know, Dirty and, and Twilight, Lord of Misrule, Snow Fairy. 
I don't know if I've ever had anything in that fragrance. Oh, I just broke it. I like this. Maybe I have had something in that fragrance and just didn't really know. Because most of the orders I do of Lush are on Boxing Day and it's like Hunger Games and you got to go in and you got to just start picking and you don't have time to really look. This is pretty. This is subdued. Whatever this butterball is, it kind of calm down the angel share. I think I have this. I really am. I think the butterball... Angel Share could be mixed with any of these, really. If you needed to do your whole, like, open concept, maybe, with, with those. Okay, next one is, and my tag fell off. This is the Woodland Fairy Sampler. It had this little tag on it. And these are the same. These are 3.25 ounce cups. The first one is Fairy Breath Mountain Pine Emerald Agave. I've had Emerald Agave from another vendor before. Okay, this is this is different. This is like aquatic with the Emerald Agave. With a little bit of tree. But I get an aquatic note. That's that's actually kind of nice. I think that'd be a really fresh scent. And it says fairy breath. Huh. Okay. The next one is flower crown. This is holy moly. Okay. Flower of immortality, peach petals, uh, black something. Coconut, maybe? Black something. Black currant, I think. Um, coconut seed and tonka bean. Holy heck. Ooh, I like the peach in this. Okay, this is definitely a floral peach. I think that says black. It's not current. What is that word? I can't see it. Black. Oh shit! I'm not gonna try. I don't even. No, you don't. You don't even care. <laughs> um. Okay, this is just a beautiful floral peach. It really is. This would be a lovely perfume. It really would. I'm really dying to know what that. Yeah, this is this is nice. That is really pretty. I love getting these samplers. Not I would, because I'm telling you what, I neither one of these. If I saw these on the like a souffle list, I would not. I would not gravitate toward in either one of these. But they're so pretty, and especially in my bedroom, you know, I can I can cut this up. This this is a few days worth of melts in there for me. Um, this one is fairy tale tea, twilight, earl grey tea, and black honey. Oh, okay. I definitely get the twilight, definitely toned down a little bit. Not quite as strong. I get the tea and I think I get the honey, kind of a bakery honey, like a like a, you, a lot of times when you do, when you get body care, they'll have like an almond honey type body care scent. Almost like that's in here. That's the vibe I'm getting from this. So if you don't like that, I don't know that you would like this one. Like I said, I would never have picked this ever. And I'm knocked out to have that. Give it a try. Um, Faye, this is Hayride Moss. Forest, tobacco leaves, amber, velvet, and sandalwood. Look at her cute labels. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Um, hayride. Kind of 
I don't want to say dirt, but almost, I'm thinking of the, I'm, I went straight to a barn, you know, with hay laying around or straw laying around and that, just that smell in there. And there's usually a dirty floor. I mean, it's a freaking barn. Um, I remember being at my uncle's in the barn, moss, forest, you know, I get dirt in this. I do get some dirt. But if you think of a forest and you think of moss, I mean, it's dirty, right? You're out in the forest. There's dirt on the ground. So, yeah, I definitely get dirt. This is nice. This is freaking interesting, you guys. Bay. Hmm. There's, there is a, a little something something to it with the tobacco leaves and the amber and sandalwood. You know, it's like sophisticated lady meets the barn. Yeah. Yeah. A really nice, pretty, fancy, smelling lady in the barn. Yeah. I like that. A. Hey. Hmm. Okay. Uh, forest crystals. This one is energy orange woods, mossy forest floor. Dirt? I don't know. Ambrette. Ambrette Woods. Okay, so we're thinking of a vibrant orange on a dirty forest floor wearing an Ambrette Woody perfume, which Ambrette is kind of like a little bit of a vanilla. Okay. Not what I was thinking. Let's see. Uh, I get a little bit of that dirty forest floor. There's a citrus note to it, which is the orange. It's not real vibrant. This is not, don't think like Satsuma orange. I'm basically, basically just getting like a, a, a citrus, a citrus a little bit of a dirt in the wet forest, in the woods, ambrette. I don't know, maybe I, I, I had an ambrette and I thought it was, maybe it was just mixed with vanilla once. But there's a, there's a perfume element to it too. This one's really kind of, this one's really interesting. Who would think to mix that stuff together? That one's, that one's really kind of neat. Hmm. Okay. These are making me work. Uh, forest fairy fruit tea. Autumn plum leaves and cranberry cider. Autumn plum leaves and cranberry cider. Oh, I like this. Okay, this is just a really nice fall plum scent. Oh, yeah. This is leaves and a plum cider this is really good i would get this in a bigger size this is something i could melt in my open concept in the fall yeah this one is this one i like a lot yeah i think leaves as you know it and a plum spicy cider yep okay now what do we got mystic forest more dirty floor, right? Uh, let's see. Trim the tree. Uh, trim the tree. Coat marquee. Fir tree notes of ocean air. Cashmere wood and labdamum. Labdamum. I still don't know what that is. I've seen that in other wax, guys, and I'm reading like a five-year-old but it's because I have 105 year old eyes um yeah trim the tree coat marquee I don't know what that is but anyway I'm thinking we're gonna have a tree smell with a little bit of a aquatic yes yes um men's cologne aquatic an aquatic men's cologne with a little bit of tree. 
Okay. Yeah, um, that's kind of what I get. A nice aquatic man's cologne, but you definitely get that fur tree note. Yep, that's exactly what this is. A little bit, little bit, this one leans a little more masculine than, than any of the others. Not super, super masculine, but. Woodland Realm, uh, cashmere forest, dry leaves, warm, warm flutters of patchouli, amber, pink pepper, and wood. Okay, this one's, this one's, this one's lighter than the others. This one's going to be hard to get out. Uh, I don't get, I'm struggling with this one, you guys. I'm not think I'm going to be able to get this one out. Um, I don't get dirty. I don't get dirty patchouli. I don't get a dirty floor. Um, Yeah, weird. Um, this one is a very body care perfume, not old lady. Very, this one's really pretty too. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I would probably, if someone said, you know, give me, give me three scents that you're smelling in this. I probably would say cashmere or sandalwood uh never would i get forest dry leaves um warm flutters of patchouli no and um i might i might say amber uh pink pepper woods no i don't even know what that is um it smells really good i don't know where my lid went uh this one is definitely more feminine last one this was an interesting sampler this one is briar this is misty meadows sugared lime and a hint of minty breezes okay do you hear that okay i get a little lime yeah okay so i get the lime minty breezes I can tell that that's there. Misty Meadows, Sugared Breeze. Almost get a little bit of a spearmint. I almost get a little bit of a spearmint vibe, but it's just the lime mixing with the, oh, well, mint. The lime and whatever that minty breezes is pulls a little spearmint. I hear Sydney's cat. This is nice. This is, this is nice too. Yeah, not overly, not a, not a really tart out of control lime. These are not my favorite sampler sizes that she does. I much prefer chunks just because sometimes the lids, but you know, it is what it is. I'll just stick it in a bag. I'll just, actually I'm going to double bag it right now. It's got a bag there. So easy fix, right? I'm not complaining. Just my personal preference. I miss the chunk samplers. I don't know about anybody else, um, but I love the chunk samplers. I really did. But you know what? I'll still buy her wax because I love it. Okay. Last one, and I almost said no to this one. This one is in a pink bag. And again, I've got eight of the, um, and where is the little thing? This one is the, spring cake sampler. And I, I did, I almost said no to the sampler just because I, bakery isn't something that I gravitate toward from this vendor, but then I thought, you know, why not give it a try? Um, so the first one I got is spring cake, brown sugar drizzle. And I don't really know what her spring cake is. Ooh. Oh, that brown sugar drizzle is nice. So I'm guessing a spring cake, a 
white cake. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this um, is definitely a vanilla -y cake with um, a really nice brown sugar. I could see how someone might think this was cinnamon roll leaning. It's good. It's pretty. It's nice. Uh, the next one is summer spring cake. This is spring cake, strawberry milkshake, summer scoop, crunch cake. Hmm. I do like swanky summer scoop. Mm, yeah, I do. I like, I like summer scoop. Yeah, this is a strawberry that I love. And that's basically what I'm getting. It's a creamy summer scoop. Excelente. I like that. I do like that one. Okay, the next one is raspberry spring cake. Sweet sugary raspberry spring cake and raspberry frosting. know that I've really ever melted a lot of Swanky's raspberry. I think this is nice. It's not leaning floral to me. I think this is a nice raspberry. Yeah. I I don't know that I've really ever melted Swanky raspberry. I don't know. Strawberry blueberry spring cake and buttercream icing. Hmm, okay. Okay, this isn't bad. I do like her blueberry. She has a blueberry Fruit Loops, one of my very favorite scents ever, and it is a heck of a thrower. Yeah, you know, I like this. This is very candied. This is a candied strawberry, a candied blueberry. I don't get buttercream, but this is this stuff is all fresh poured. It's all on cold. Um, I know that I will enjoy melting that though. Then I got spring carrot cake. All right. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, um, I haven't found a carrot cake wax yet that really threw strong for me. I have melted some swanky carrot cake in the past, and it was like a light medium thrower. Um, I'm going to be honest, I think the only other vendor I've had it from maybe is L3. I like the smell. This isn't overly spicy. Yeah. Cake. Okay. Then I got strawberry shortcake spring cake. Okay. This one smells more. I get the cake in this one. You know what I've said before? Now that I'm thinking back, her samplers, and I noticed this on another bakery, bakery sampler I got. I can't remember. I got a summer scoop sampler once from her and I remember making the comment that the summer scoop was not the star of the blend. Usually when you get a sampler, it's, it's, you know, that, that, whatever it is, say it's summer scoop sampler. The summer scoop would be the star of the show and then there's just something else to go along with it. And I remember that sampler wasn't like that. It was, yes, there was summer scoop, but say it was summer scoop and, and blueberry muffin, you know, that blueberry muffin might have been the, the strongest note. This reminds me of more of a strawberry pound cake leaning strawberry with the cake. And I actually get more of the cake in this one than I did in some of the others. It's nice. I think if you're a big strawberry pound cake fan, you would probably like this. Y'all know. I don't hate strawberry pound cake, but it's usually not my favorite. I prefer more of a summer scoop type strawberry. Just a perf personal preference. Then I got blackberry smoothie spring cake. Okay. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, I get Blackberry. This is almost a floral leaning Blackberry to me though. You know what? I get mulberry vibes from this a little bit. I get home interior mulberry candle vibes from this. Kind of weird. Yeah, I, I mean, I think this is going to melt fine. Probably not going to be, you know, my all-time favorite, but that's why we get samplers, right? So we can try this stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Last one. And I will get out of your hair for a while. This one is lemon spring cake. This is spring cake, lemon cream, key lime, cookie filling, and lemon meringue. Ooh, I like this one. This one's my favorite out of the sampler, I think. I really like the summer scoop one. I like swanky lemon. I do. Yeah, this is this is good. This I I always go to my lemon meringue strawberry shortcake doll. Yeah, I like this. Is this is this is lemon? I do kind of get a little bit of the tartness from the key lime. Yep, I like this one. This one's probably my favorite. I like that one a lot. So that was it, guys. That was my swanky pre-order. I am. I'm trying to think. Did she have? Did she have an RTS? After this pre-order, I don't remember. I don't need to go in. There's nothing I need. Um, or was this the RTS? No, this was the pre-order. This was the pre-order. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But I don't need anything else. But I will participate in her next pre-order. I know I will. I can tell you all that I won't, that I don't need to. And maybe I don't need to, but I will. That's just who I am. And you all know that. So... There, I've got a couple on the floor and that one. So, everybody, thank you for stopping by. Have a great rest of your Sunday night. If this gets uploaded, sometimes it takes 24 hours to upload a video. Sometimes it takes 15 minutes. You, you never know. Um, everyone have a great week. I'm going to pull it, put in a full week next week. And I have a three-day weekend for Memorial Day. So, yay me. Okay, everyone, I will see you in the next video.